The city of Birmingham, home to thousands of small businesses, it's the second largest city in the UK. So with stress levels on the rise in such a busy climate, I as a business owner have known firsthand the effects of how stress can really impact on my productivity and how I perform on a day to day. So you'll find that most company owners or business managers will take their team out on staff meals or staff get-togethers, do regular one-to-ones, introduce um, like exercise programs to just improve the overall health and well-being of the people working within their team. So what would happen if a company took a slightly unorthodox way of improving the well-being of the people working within their organisation by using nature as a tool of therapy to improve how people feel and function at work. My name is Akil Gordon Beckford and I am the founder of Videri. I design aquariums, but I love life. So I'm sat here in the office of a web design and development company called Lightbox Digital, based in Birmingham city centre. And we worked with the team in 2019 over about a two week period to look at how looking into an aquarium for 10 minutes would reduce their anxiety and their stress levels, both psychologically, but as well as physiologically. My name's Autumn. I work at Lightbox predominantly within the digital marketing team. My job's mainly SEO. I spend every single day on one of our clients' websites um, do what I can to optimise it, kind of manipulate it a little bit to satisfy Google search. So I'm Sophie, I work at Lightbox Digital in Birmingham. I've been working here for a few months now. I do SEO, which is search engine optimisation um, for clients and their websites. My name is Tom Lewis, uh, I'm technical lead at Lightbox. So I help build websites and uh, manage projects and meet clients and scope those projects as well. My name is Craig. I'm working at Lightbox as a web developer. My name is Heather um, and I work as a digital designer. My role is the creative side, um, so doing all the design and the concepts um, for uh, all the websites here at Lightbox. Hi, I'm PJ. I'm one of the directors here at Lightbox. So my role on a daily basis can change a lot. Um, one minute I'm you know, looking over accounts Next minute I'm pitching to a client, next minute I'm dealing with any internal issues. So it can be very varied and uh, as a result, sometimes you know, pretty stressful. Stress and anxiety is the number one issue that HR departments and company owners are dealing with at the moment with regards to managing their staff. This is particularly important for this particular industry sector as they experience some of the highest levels of stress and anxiety at work um, compared to other industries and sectors around, around the city. And one of the reasons for that is that these guys spend six to 10 hours in front of a computer screen each day, and they're constantly dealing with tight deadlines and even tighter budgets. Um, sometimes there's deadlines. Obviously, when you've got KPIs to meet and clients to please, there's always that element of stress within your job, but it's just how you choose to cope with it like get quite worried and anxious about things easily even if they're little things um, and I'd say that has an effect on me because it will affect my mood and the way I'm acting and then it can um, take over things that maybe need a bit more focus and it also maybe it reflects on other people if I'm stressed because I'm not in the best mood that I could be. One of the things that probably makes me anxious is um, the fact that we can't always plan for everything so things can happen and we have to react very quickly in this especially in this industry uh, it's quite a reactionary industry and um, with websites that are live, anything can go wrong, uh, might, go, might go wrong <laughs> and you've got to be ready to, on one hand to, uh, to deal with that. Sometimes it's stressful when you, we have a lot of projects and all of them should be done on time and um, because web developing it's actually a process that it's, you don't know, you know when you start but you never know when you finish. A lot of people rely on me um, and depend on me, so uh, yeah, it can be a high stressful job. Yeah, working within an agency is always very pressurised. Um, it's the way you manage it, you know, sometimes it can be, it can feel pressurised, but also feel very good. 
um, and it takes a certain person to be able to work in uh, an agency. Uh, and I think genuinely people that have only ever worked in agencies will know exactly what it's like. Um, I've worked in a corporate environment before, many years ago, and there is a certain pressure around that. But with, when it comes to agency, there's a different type of pressure. Loads of pressure around sort of timelines, um, clients' expectations, deliverables, all that sort of stuff. And actually it needs a certain type of energy to be able to accommodate that, because it is, you know, stressful. So the basis behind this pilot study was firstly to add some validation to the idea that you know, we all talk about it, aquariums are calming and relaxing. I'm really passionate about biofit design and especially how aquariums sort of fit within that framework. So we use the, the idea was to kind of use the, um, the information or the findings or the data and to sort of really amplify that conversation around aquariums being key part of that biophilic design movement and how we can sort of incorporate nature in different ways to sort of improve the environment or the spaces that people live and work in. I think PJ met Akil at a networking event and we were refurbishing our office at the time so we acquired the fish tank through that. We moved in in March and we were all kind of captivated by the fish tank and Akil felt that so he began to work with us. So here's what we did. We took 13 participants from the Lightbox team. We sat them in front of this aquarium behind me for 10 minutes. So before the time started, we took their readings of their blood pressure and their heart rate using a blood pressure monitor. And we just asked a few questions in terms of how they were feeling at that particular moment in time. So after the 10 minute period, we retook their blood pressure and their heart rate using the heart rate monitor. And we asked them just a few questions about how they felt sort of during and then shortly after the experience. I did feel more relaxed during that time. Obviously you switch the music off that's in the office, everything calms down. You don't really take notice of everyone walking past you. And then you step back into reality. So during the time that I was doing the study and looking at the fish tank, I definitely felt more relaxed. So despite me being quite cynical from the outset, I was quickly proved wrong. Um, you know, just the fact that I felt calmer as a result of just chilling out, I'd like to attribute to the fish and the nature and all that sort of stuff. I'm sure that is the case. An observation that I made was I just felt a lot more relaxed and quite fascinated by what was actually happening in the tank. I'd never considered myself to be fascinated in looking at fish before, but um, it was quite interesting and therapeutic. I did feel like after the experiment it was helpful. It kind of just uh, cleared my mind and, and kind of almost refreshed my mind a little bit as well and allowed me to focus on the next task in hand. So I, I definitely agree that it, it did help put, like boost productivity in that sense. It short term made me feel more relaxed and calm. Um, just kind of took me out of the zone for a bit and just made me feel more at ease. And then long term it just made me think more about what I need to do to de-stress and the fact that stress can build up, it's bad for you, it actually made me think through the fact that I need to make more time for myself to relax and not always have things going on in my head. So in part two we will take a look at the results from the study and just take a deep dive into what these results actually mean in the wider context of society, business culture and employees in the working environment.